Hi everyone. This is the fourth video in the HJ-Y3 Tricopter build series. In the last video, I assembled the HJ-Y3 frame. In this video, I'll mount the motors, ESCs, power distribution, battery, radio receiver, and flight controller. So first, mounting the motors. All the screws I had were countersink heads, so I had to scrounge some panhead screws. These came from my computer screws bin. In an earlier video, I mentioned how many of my initial decisions were incorrect. You'll see later in this video how I ultimately mounted the motors. Here you see the frame with the motors mounted, and here with the arms folded back for easy transportation. Next, I tackled mounting the battery. I used Velcro on the bottom and ran a Velcro strap in the slots. This is the ESC, Electronic Speed Controller. It has the Simon K firmware. This means it refreshes at 490 Hz instead of the standard 50 Hz, resulting in a more responsive motor. Notice the lack of connectors. In this sequence, I'm soldering 3.5 mm bullet connectors to the ESC outputs. I used female connectors on the ESCs and male connectors on the motors. I used heat shrink tubing to keep everyone friendly. Notice the new motor mount. I routed the motor wires through the holes in the ends of the arm. This made it very convenient to use a zip tie to mount the ESC to the frame. Please ignore the wires routing through the arm. Next I soldered a Dean's cable and the ESCs to the power distribution board. Ultimately I wish I had soldered the wires on the other side of the board. I may correct that at some point. Initially I chose the wrong set of pads for the front arm wires causing issues with the wires when folding the arms. Here's a close-up of the arm assembly. The notch in the small fiberglass piece engages the hex standoff. Notice how the wires are routed here. It makes a big difference being able to fold the arms or not. Ultimately, I ended up moving where the arm wires attach to the power distribution board. And here you can see the wires have been moved to provide slack when folding the arms. For maximum performance, balance your props. I mounted the flight controller and radio receiver with foam tape. The OpenPilot CC3D flight controller is oriented with the USB port to the rear. It should be located as close as possible to the center, but this does not need to be exact. And there you have it. Everything is assembled. Okay, that's it for now. In the next video, I'll configure the radio transmitter and flight controller. Thanks for watching.